Welcome to Help You Math. In this video, we are going over the problems that require conversions between the units within metric system. And this video will be very useful for students enrolled in the Math for Nursing. So, we will take a look at the most commonly used conversions between uh, metric system units in the nursing practice and other medical fields. So, first of all, the most commonly used conversions between weight is from gram to milligram. So, from one gram, it's 1,000 milligram. And we also might have a little smaller unit and one gram, it will be a microgram, which is one million microgram. So, there is also could be between two small units conversions. So, one milligram, it's one thousand micrograms. So keep in mind, so this is actually the conversion factor 1000 for these two units. And we also talk about the unit of volume, which is one liter mostly, com uh, most commonly used, and one liter is 1000 milliliters. So let's take a look at a couple of examples with conversions. Convert the following units within metric system, and we need to convert 400 milligrams to the grams. So first of all, we want to keep in mind that we are converting from smaller units to the larger unit, which is milligram and gram, when we need to remember that we want to divide by a thousand, and that means, so I will write it here, so we keep in mind that we are dividing by the thousand, and for that, we also need to shift the decimal point three places to the left. So therefore, we are going to copy four zero zero so we will drop the previous decimal point in the end of the number and after that we are going to shift one two three places so the final answer will be zero point four since we can drop two zeros in the end example b in this case we are going to convert the larger unit, please notice the gram is larger than milligram. So in this case, our goal is to multiply by a thousand because you understand that if we express the same number in the smaller units, that the number should be larger. So therefore, we need to multiply. And again, in order to multiply, we will drop the previous decimal point for the number 0 0.007 and then we need to shift the decimal point in the opposite direction. Multiplying by 1,000 makes our number larger. So instead of getting 7,000, we have just 7. So the answer will be 7 milligram. Okay, in the example number C, we need to do multi-step conversion first from microgram to milligram and then to the gram. So the first step we want to look that the microgram is the smaller unit than the milligram and therefore well, since we have the smaller unit we are going to divide the number by a thousand. So for that we will copy the number 280, we will drop the decimal point in the end of the whole number and then we will shift the decimal point three places to the left. So our answer will be since we can drop the final zero in the end, that will be 0 0.28 milligram. So then the next step that we are going to do, we are going to convert milligram and gram. So we can do either way, to convert from milligram to gram or maybe from microgram to gram. So let's try to go from the initial number, this case first, and then in part D, I will show you how to convert between two closest units. So in this case, if we need to convert between microgram and gram, let's take a look. There is the conversion factor 1,000 microgram in one gram. So therefore, in this case, we are going to divide by a million, right? I'm talking about the initial number, which is 280 microgram. So for that, Again, we will drop 280 microgram and the last, actually, in the end of the whole number, we will put the decimal point. And we will start to count six places to the left, one, two, three, and we will place two, three extra zeros. So then the answer will be zero and 280 millionth, or since we can drop the last decimal 
zero, then the answer could be 0 0.00028, which actually 28 100 thousand. And in example number D, the problem is converting in the opposite direction than we had in C. So we are converting from larger to smaller milligram and to even more smaller microgram. So remember that in order to convert between gram and milligram, in this case, that's pretty similar to B, we are going to multiply by 1000. So we will shift the decimal point. We will drop 2.3, the old decimal point here, and we are counting three places to the right. So we need to insert two extra zero. Therefore, we are going to have 2,000 and 300 milligram. And also we can convert 2.3 gram to the microgram, or if you want, you can continue from milligram to microgram. Since we converted directly from microgram to gram in question C, then we probably try to convert between mi milligram and microgram in this case. So as of now, we have 2,300 milligram. And because we want to convert to the microgram, again, this is another smaller unit, so we will multiply by additional 1,000. This is the last line in the weight conversions. So our final answer will be 2,300,000 microgram. Example E and example F, there will be the examples of conversions for the volumes. And in this case E, we need to convert the milliliters to the liters. Let's take a look. Milliliter is smaller unit and liter is larger. For conversion from the smaller unit, we need to divide by a thousand. So let's copy 370. Let's drop the decimal point in the end of the number. And after that, we are going to shift that three places to the left. That will be the location of the new decimal point. Again, we can drop zero in the end, and the answer will be zero point and 37 hundredths of the liter. The final example is the conversion between larger unit to smaller unit. And since we have 0 0.9, which is 9 tenths of the liter, then we have to multiply by 1,000. So we will use the old decimal point 9, and we will count three, zero, three places, one place for the 9, and two extra places will be filled in with zeros. Therefore, the final answer will be 900 milliliters.